Yeah, we're back in the booth again and we're on our final cut-in stage for the cutlass. So we have the inside of the trunk, the two doors, and the edge of the hood to uh, paint. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up this last final cut-in on this car and uh, get this thing ready to do the outside. So I figured I might as well do one last video on the cut-in. And I got these all sanded with uh, 320 and any bare metal, I went ahead and etched it. You could see here where the hinges are when they were on that car, kind of built up some rust. So I sanded those, etched them. And now we're gonna hit this with a sealer. So that way it's all sealed up nice and we can move on from there. It'll be treated because I etched all the bare metal and then I'm gonna hit it with the sealer and then we'll move on to the candy. So let's go ahead and uh, start doing these. And this is that trunk lid that I was telling you guys uh, about last time about how it was peeling, but I got it all Edge Prime 2K and seam sealed up nice, just in the areas it needs it. And we're gonna seal this up and now we got no more rust on this. So let's go ahead and finish up this cutting. prep sold it and now I got a wet damp rag with water and I'm just going over it with a microfiber to uh, wipe off a little bit of the leftover residual and this here grounds it out whenever you use water it'll ground out the panel and stop a lot of static so I learned this trick when I first started painting about 20 something years ago one of my first uh, shops I worked at, the painter was really good and he used to always wipe everything with a damp rag and it would knock out some of the uh, static and definitely get a cleaner job. So I still do that and now I use the microfiber ever since I learned about that one. So it makes it even better with the microfiber towel. So you just get a damp microfiber and after you're done doing your prep saw, you just can go over it nice and uh, just wipe it down with this as one more final step and gives you a cleaner job. So just something I've always done and I always will because it's worked well for me. So just thought I'd tell you guys about it. But when you're doing these candies and the reason why I'm painting this little edge is because what really separates a real nice candy job is all the edges and the jams. So you want to make sure you get all the candy all around this first. That way when you go to do the outside, you can mask it up and try to keep it clean so that way your jams all look nice because you know that silver or the uh, charcoal has to go down and then the candy. So we got to spray all the little edges because when you're doing a candy job, you're not going to try to spray edges when you're doing the outside because then you're going to have dark edges on it. So. We're doing as much as we can to ensure a nice job. And we may even have to go in at the end and do a little touch up to get those jams looking the way I want them to look. So let's finish up wiping it and we'll be sealing it. And now you want to tack it. So let's tack them off and go right into our sealer. So I know I see you guys, we got the latch in here and the screws, but on these older cars, all that stuff is painted the color of the vehicle. So 
We're gonna go ahead and paint it candy just like it was supposed to be originally, but you know that's an eyesore when you see that because you know the newer cars are all different. They don't have painted latches anymore, so. I hate looking at it myself, but that's the way it is, so. When I seen it, I said, whoa, and then I realized that they're painted, so. Funny stuff, but they changed the way they do things nowadays than the old days, so. We're all sealed up, and then we'll move on to the base coat. So we got two coats of the base. I'm gonna put one more on it and then we'll be moving on to the candy. So it's coming out nice and clean so far and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So this will be it for the cut in. And then after we paint the body, we'll just have to paint that front grill, the mirror, and then a couple little pieces for it and we'll be all finished up with it. So I'm looking forward to uh, building this thing this weekend putting the doors on it, the hood, getting everything adjusted. And that way it's all lined up nice. So when I sand it, I know I'm done with it. So that's gonna be the fine tuning on adjustment, getting it straight, make sure all the doors close nice. Cause I got all the new weather stripping and I got all the little grommets for the trunk. These little plugs, I got those. I went ahead and picked up these new, these here, those are new all new weather strips and I got new emblems for the trunk the ones I showed you guys before that were uh, pitted a little bit we picked those up new fender emblems and just nice little touches to really make it look nice once it goes on because those emblems you don't want to take on and off once you do a paint job so mine weren't too bad but I said you know what once I paint it, that's it. So let's put new ones on and we'll be done with it. So let's finish up basing this and we'll move on to the candy. So we're all based out. We got the three coats of the base on and now we're going right into the candy with the DV1 with the C1 cap. So let's go ahead and put our first coat of candy on it. That's one coat of the candy. And uh, remember what I told you about, go slow, take it easy, and give good flash times in between coats. Let it tack up real good before you put the next candy on. You can always put more on, but you can't take any off. So watch what you're doing, take your time, go slow.
went ahead and put the four coats of the candy on the same as we did the body. That way everything matches and everything looks consistent when you open the doors and the trunk up. So we're gonna let this set up, give it about 20 minutes and then clear it. But it came out really nice as you guys can see. And that color again is beautiful. So let's let it set up and come back in and clear it. So the jams came out nice and we're really moving along. We just have to do a couple other things to get it tuned up under the hood. We'll be shooting a video of that. But thanks for watching and see you on the next one.